time I'm making this video, we're exactly 15 days away from the 2024 election. And to be very honest with you, I want to remain optimistic, but I'm terrified, plain and simple. We may have to resign ourselves to the fact that Donald Trump may actually win this election and become president again, which means the truth of the matter is that if you don't see any more videos from me, you know what's happened. I've probably been arrested or otherwise. I'm still optimistic, but we may have to resign our fact to the fact that a good portion of this entire country wants Donald Trump back in the White House, regardless of the personal stakes, regardless of everything that he has said he's going to do, and regardless of the risks that Donald Trump has put us, is putting us through, he may be present again, and we may have to deal with this country turning into a full-blown dictatorship. And it's not just Donald Trump I'm terrified of, it's his supporters. People who are in completely oblivious to what Donald Trump represents and what Donald Trump will do to this country. People who will, I mean, just last night, meaning Sunday, October the 20th, excuse me, not the 20th, yeah, the 20th. During the Pittsburgh Steelers game, a Donald Trump supporter ran on field holding a pro-Trump sign. That woman's probably spending the night in jail, hopefully sobering up. That's how far these people are going to support Trump. I have someone on Twitter right now who's either playing stupid with me just to piss me off or he's really blissfully ignorant of what happened during the last few days in the last few Donald Trump rallies. Especially the remark about Arnold Palmer, the late great golf legend, and Donald Trump talking about his, you know what? I mean, in the worst part, is people in office, Republicans in office, actually turning a blind eye to what Donald Trump has said. This is a video clip of an interview between Mike Johnson and CNN's Jake Tapper about what Donald Trump has said about, um, about his comments about going after Democrats if he's reelected. And trust me, I'm as angry as you are, you should be, with the complete and total disassociation from reality that people like Mike Johnson live in. Take a look. Uh, Donald Trump repeatedly referred to prominent Democrats and others on the left in the United States, American citizens, as, quote, the enemy from within, unquote, and he suggested as president he would want to use the National Guard or military against them. Let me play some of that for our viewers. The bigger problem are the people from within. We have some very bad people. We have some sick people, radical left lunatics. And I think they're the big, and, and it should be very easily handled by, if necessary, by National Guard or if really necessary by the military uh, they, because they can't let that happen. One of the first things you did when you joined Congress was to create the Honor and Civility Caucus. Does wanting to use the military against political opponents, would that pass muster with the Civility Caucus? No, that's not. <laughs> Jake, you know that's not what he's talking about there. What he's talking about is marauding gangs of dangerous, nope. violent people who are destroying public property nope. he talked about and, Adam and threatening and other American he's citizens. Not talk, I mean, uh, Governor Youngkin tried this with me, too. That's not, he was very clear. Let, let, me, let me play, because he was asked about this later on, because Fox always likes to give Donald Trump an opportunity to clean it up. Uh, and he always says, no, no, I'm, I said what I meant. Here's what he said when asked about it uh, the next day. It is the enemy from within, and they're very dangerous. They're Marxists and communists and fascists, and they're sick. I use a guy like Adam Schiff, because 
They made up the Russia, Russia, Russia hoax. It took two years to solve the problem. Absolutely nothing was done wrong, et cetera, et cetera. They're dangerous for our country. We have China, we have Russia, we have all these countries. If you have a smart president, they can all be handled. The more difficult are, you know, the Pelosi's, uh, these people, they're so sick and they're so evil. He's, that's what he's talking about, using the U.S. military against not marauding gangs of uh, Venezuelan. Wait, wait a minute. I, wait, Adam hold Schiff, on. Adam Nancy Pelosi, Nancy Pelosi's husband. Paul. So let me just say, if a Democratic presidential candidate said that you and your wife were evil and that the military should be used against you, I would say that's disgusting. Well, thank you. And, and some have said that about us because they don't like my politics. I did not hear President Trump in that clip say he's going to sick the military on Adam Schiff. That's not what he's saying. You've got two different clips in two different contexts. What, what President Trump is talking about is that they have been attacking and maligning him from the day he came down that golden escalator. Everybody knows that's true. In, in 2015, 2016, that's when this began. He's been the most attacked maligned political figure in U.S. history. They've tried to kill him twice in the last few months. Who's I mean, they? this is real, and he feels that acutely. And, Jake, you what would, you too, they? if you were under attack like he is all the time, every day. They, I mean, Iran, who has assassination attempts sure. out against him. But I that's mean, not crazy, dangerous but people Adam in the Schiff country who and Nancy Pelosi get on rooftops and take shots. are not trying to assassinate shots. Donald Trump. I mean, there's this conflation of any... They're not, Jake. They're, they're not. But... No, but the political attacks have been relentless, and they have been baseless, and they made up the Russian collusion hoax, and they went after him, and they have been going after him ever since. They tried to impeach him twice. I mean, they've done real damage in the uh, in American psyche. What I'm talking about is the political attacks that are so over the top. Kamala Harris has used language saying he's so dangerous to the country. I mean, I've had colleagues in the House say he must be eliminated. He must be extinguished. He's literally I mean, talking about th this taking stuff is the military over the top. You know my... against Democrats. I mean, he's literally talking. No, he's about not. It. No, yes, he is. no, he's not, Jake. No, he's not. No, he's talking about using the National Guard and the military to keep the peace in our streets. In the summer of 2020 that my Democrat colleagues call the summer of love, it was crazy. It was mayhem. And Democratic progressive uh, mayors and governors allowed it to go on, including Tim Walz, who allowed uh, Minneapolis to burn, and it's still not uh, rebuilt. Look, Trump is talking about restoring law and order, and I'm telling you, you can mock it. People in the media can mock it, but that resonates with the American people. They are sick of being afraid on the streets of their cities. D Donald Trump can bring order back to the chaos. They know that. So they're willing to give a little on his, you know, social if media he, posts if, if and some fun language he uses at rallies. He called rallies. January 6th a day yeah. of love. He said that the January 6th criminals, the, pri the, the prisoners who violently attacked your place of work, he compared to them to the victims of Japanese internment camps, and that guy is in favor of law and order? Yes, President Trump had and kept law and order. When he says at the campaign rallies that Except on we didn't 7th. have hot wars around the globe during his administration. No, look, look he, he, he's, he's right. Russia did not invade Ukraine under his watch. Israel was not attacked viciously by Iran and its proxies because they were afraid to do so under our, that commander-in-chief, under President Trump. Uh, they're not afraid right now. Our, our allies are nervous. Our enemies are empowered because they see an opportunity. The only person that they fear less, our enemies abroad, the only person they fear less than Joe Biden is Kamala Harris. At the end of the day, when you go into the ballot box, I would just encourage everybody, ask yourself quietly, are you comfortable with Kamala Harris being the commander in chief of the U.S. Armed Forces at the most dangerous moment since World War II. She could not handle that. Our enemies would have an opportunity there, and people think about those things, and that's why they're going to vote for Donald Trump. It's like you're going to win and be reelected president. Answering questions from a completely different interviewer, but Speaker Johnson, I appreciate You can't even admit the fact that he said this? I keep looking at Donald Trump supporters, I ask, what kind of hold does this guy have on you that you would just blissfully ignore reality? That you would just blissfully ignore what Donald Trump himself has said and doubled down on? What does this guy have on you? What does he have over you? Just today, I got re I received new we all got the news that the Central Park, excuse me, the Exonerated Five, 
are filing a lawsuit against Donald Trump for slander and defamation of character, something that has been long overdue. I argued with this Facebook um, user that Donald Trump, he didn't do anything like that. Yes, he did. The article that he put out is Exhibit 1. Exhibit 2, several uh, decades later, he was asked, do you believe, do you still believe that they're guilty? He said, yes. I mean, it, it boggles the mind and it's, it's scaring me, honestly. I'm terrified. If Donald Trump gets back in the office, we can kiss this country goodbye. You can probably kiss me goodbye because I'm probably on somebody's list. And that's not me being paranoid. That's the truth. Donald Trump has said so multiple times. His supporters have said so multiple times that they're coming after me and coming after you and coming after anyone who didn't vote for Donald Trump. They, they are not playing games and neither can we. So as much as I want to believe Kamala Harris can win, in several swing states, she's trailing. In several swing states, she's winning. Early voting has started in a lot of the states today, including Texas, South Carolina, and Florida. My home state, Ohio, they started early voting last week. Now, I'm planning on voting the day of Election Day. That's my plan, and I'm going to continue that plan unless something spontaneous happens. And I'm, I should vote early. But I'm going to vote against Donald Trump. If I'm going to go down, I'm going to go down fighting. Now, that may be my last act of defiance against the incoming Trump fascist regime. But at least I'll, I'll, I'll go down fighting. Trump has already made clear that he's coming after us. He has said it multiple times and he meant it. But everyone in the in the right wing is so enamored with the fact that he <laughs> he actually handed out made fries at McDonald's. Tried to prove some sort of point about Kamala Harris lying about she didn't lie. But that but your evidence is the fact that she didn't put McDonald's on her application. I'm terrified. And Donald Trump has made me terrified. His supporters have made me terrified. All for the sake of getting a madman back in the office. Because they can't accept the fact that the world doesn't, isn't going to work the way they should. And it's really too bad. Really too bad that Donald Trump supporters have made it clear that they don't care about the truth when it, sm when it smacks them in the face. They don't care about the truth when it's standing right in their face. And they don't care about the truth if it contradicts something that Donald Trump has said. So we got, we got a little over two weeks left. Now I intend to make a, make a Twitter space tomorrow at 7 p.m on the dot and I'm going to outline for you what's at stake and I'm going to probably do it again the next week since we'll have at least one since we'll have one week to go this isn't a game anymore guys Donald Trump and his supporters are playing for keeps it's time we did the same and that's not a call to violence. Let me make that perfectly clear. These people are fanatics. And they, are, they want to go to war. I don't. Donald Trump is not worth blood. He's not worth the blood. And it's sad that so many people in this country think he is. It is so incredibly sad. 15 days to go, ladies and gentlemen. My space will be on Twitter 
and my username will be on the in the description below. This cannot happen. Donald Trump cannot happen. It's up to us to make sure it doesn't happen. CTP, you know the truth. God bless. Peace to the left, justice to the right.